Art has been a lifelong passion for me, and uh, I'm uh, always been excited. I remember pictures of uh, me as a a little kid with an art easel, and um, I always took art in high school, and uh, had a really great um, art teacher, high school art teacher, that kind of pushed me to uh, go beyond my limits and really kind of um, pushed me forward. Um, it's really wonderful to kind of be here at the Brandeis uh, University campus where I went to college you know, almost 25 years ago, I guess. Um, and um, here at the Rose Art Museum, uh, all the art classes here were terrific. When I started to uh, do art, obviously you need to work on the fundamentals, understanding uh, the elements of design and really kind of focusing on realistic things. And um, But I always, I always like to experiment. I always like to take what I've learned and kind of change it up. Uh, and uh, over the, you know, in recent years I've kind of developed my own si signature style of uh, using, you know, bright colors and uh, um, and bold lines and uh, the illusion of mosaic tile um, in my artwork. So I think what defines my artwork um, isn't necessarily that I do kind of one subject matter, you know, like some artists just do landscapes and some, some just do portraits. Um, my artwork kind of spans a variety of different topics, but what kind of uh, defines them is, is the style that I do it. So I have um, artwork uh, of uh, the Boston Sitco sign, I have Marilyn Monroe, I have uh, Madonna, I have uh, kind of geometric, just abstract uh, forms, um, all sorts of different different pieces, but they all kind of are unified in the same uh, style. Yeah, I really have a passion for public art. I, I love public art because it's really art for everybody. And uh, I was really excited to be part of um, the Celebrity Series of Boston uh, had a, um, an exhibit called Play Me I'm Yours. And they had uh, over 60 pianos uh, that were painted by different artists. And I was fortunate enough to become, be selected to be one of the artists. And um, I was excited because they picked my painting, my painted piano to be at Boston City Hall for the major press event and uh, you know, so the the mayor was there Mayor Marty Walsh and it was uh, it was great to see uh, they had a, a school a school choir sing with the piano it was really really a great a great event and just to have um, you know see people just come up to the piano and play it and uh, you know the combination of music and, and art and kind of impromptu experience. It was really exciting to see. Um, and uh, the piano doesn't exist anymore because of weather, but it exists online um, on my YouTube channel and on uh, streetpianos.com. So um, you, you can kind of, I have lots of videos. I have over 50 videos of people playing the piano and enjoying. It's, uh, it's, it's still fun. I really, I love it when people people see my artwork and it brings a smile to their face. I mean, my artwork is about um, about love and happiness and fun and uh, all positive things. So, um, so, you know, if somebody looks at it and it makes them smile, it makes them laugh, um, that's what, that's, that's what I, that's why I do it. Um, I, I'm recently um, in a pub, my latest public art exhibition is now in Rockefeller Center in New York City, which is um, called The Flag Project. So Rockefeller selected me and uh, 193 other artists, um, some of which are uh, very well-known artists like Jeff Koons and designer uh, Christian Siriano, um, the, uh, probably one of the oldest living artists, uh, Carmen Herrera, um, and uh, they uh, they all participated as well in the in the flag project and the flags that normally surround Rockefeller Center, uh, the rank uh, with uh, the countries of the United Nations they were replaced just for the month of August for August through August 23rd uh, with 
all these artist flags and my flag um, is a picture of um, the Statue of Liberty and it uses my mosaic um, design and uh, it kind of uh, represents um, kind of the, the, the diversity in New York City and um, especially in, in with today with COVID um, it was a great public art project that brought the city together, brought people together um, in really unique ways. And I also do teach, I uh, do mostly private art instruction for kids and adults, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, and uh, I do a few classes here and there, um, but I really like the one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, approach to uh, giving art instruction because then I can really kind of give them kind of instantaneous feedback, um, you know, really kind of see um, how much pressure they're putting down on the pencil or the brush and, and kind of help correct things um, kind of right in the moment. Um, and in a big class, it's hard to do that. Uh, well, during quarantine, it's, um, I've actually been really, really very, very busy. Um, so uh, all, all my lessons that I, that I teach in person were um, now transferred onto uh, the Zoom platform, so I teach online. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging, but everybody's doing the best that they can during this time. Um, I've had, um, I've been working on some new paintings, and I'm always working on a lot of uh, new projects. I think the, I think the, the flag project in New York City uh, really was kind of uh, undertaken by Rockefeller Center uh, in response to COVID and all the struggles that uh, New York in particular has has gone through, so um, so I was really uh, happy to be to be somewhat a part of uh, of that exhibit. Um, and I did go down to New York for the day and see my flag um, uh, waving <laughs> in the wind uh, and uh, and see all the other incredible flags there. I have a few uh, public art installations. Uh, one is by um, Fenway Park uh, on the corner of Boylston Street and uh, Yawkey Way, or now Jersey Street. Um, and that is a, has a Boston theme, and uh, that's a painted electrical box. I and mean, I was also commissioned to do another painted electrical box um, with a Boston Marathon theme, and that's located in Natick, uh, in Natick on East Central Avenue.